Hello, my name is Christine Phillips from Health Yourself. I'm a certified health coach and wellness chef. Now, I love pizza night. It's one of the favorite things in our families. Every Friday night we have pizza and wine. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make a healthier pizza. And you can do this at home and it will literally take you five minutes. We're gonna pop on our stove. Here I've got a kale and spinach wrap base. And I always choose a healthier wrap base or a gluten-free pizza base, whichever you prefer. So the first thing we do is we pop the pan on, let that start warming up. I've made some homemade pizza um, tomato sauce, but you can go and get a bottle or a jar of um, chopped tomatoes if you want to. Blitz it up with some beautiful fresh oregano and basil, and that'll be a perfect um, tomato base. You only put a very, very little bit of the tomato down, otherwise it will become a bit soggy. So we're gonna put just a very little bit of mozzarella over. And that's the difference when you're making these things at home, is that you're in control on what goes into this product at the end of the day. We love fresh mozzarella. These beautiful little mozzarella balls. I'm going to thinly slice that up as well. And when you taste this pizza, you will see that afterwards, it's satisfying, it's healthy, and you don't feel so bloated afterwards and awful. All right, so just a bit of mozzarella fresh over there. Love that. And then we love parma ham. You can put things like bacon, just some fresh chicken or whatever you prefer. Just like a few strips of that. Sprinkle just a little bit of pepper over. Now you can put on all sorts of toppings, some beautiful fresh basil, whatever you want really. But we're gonna keep this as our meaty one. So this is something that my son will enjoy. And then we'll do a vegetarian one, which my daughter will enjoy. So as you can see, this is pretty dense, all melted, so delicious. And I'm just going to pop it onto here. And that is our first pizza. What I'm gonna do is just pop a little bit of rocket on top of it. It's also a favorite in our house. Um, it's got like a nice peppery taste to it and you've got to have a little bit of greens. Always throw your greens in wherever you can. So we're gonna pop it onto our pizza. Okay, so that is pizza number one. Now we're going to do pizza number two, which is going to be a vegetarian one. Again, just using a wrap, nice and light, not heavy, very, very thin, and it's all gluten-free. Right, so popping that on, a little bit of tomato sauce again. And remember, don't put a lot, otherwise it will become soggy. A little bit of mozzarella again. There we go. So here we're going to put some roasted vegetables. So I've got some lovely courgettes, which I roasted. Put a few of those on. And a little bit of roasted peppers. And what's great is it just brings out such beautiful color and you know, all these beautiful antioxidants. So we're still getting all our veggies while we are eating our pizza. We love red pepper juice. So we're going to put some pepper juice on this. It's got a lovely sweet taste to it as well. We're gonna put a few olives on. So here I'm gonna add just a little bit of goat's cheese to, you know, something different, just a fresher flavor. There we go. A Couple of little tomatoes and some pepper. Right, we're gonna let that go, and as you can see, it's crisping up quite nicely. Perfect. Right, let's take this one off. Just a little bit hot. Right. There we go. Fantastic. Beautiful pizza night. And top a little bit of basil. And super healthy. So, that's it for me. Christine Phillips, let me know how your pizza night comes out. I'd love to hear from you. You can get some more recipes um, off healthyourself.co.za. Stay healthy, everyone.